Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dom if you are new here and in today's video I'm going to be doing my November roundup. I have tried so many products in the month of November. I had my Sephora VIB sale. I had products from the month of October like eyeshadow palettes, all of that good stuff so without further ado let's get on into this video if you have not already go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can you know know when my little chubby face um uploads videos but anyway i hope you're having an amazing thursday maybe friday depending on when this goes up but it is the end of november november has gone by so fast we've had a lot of stuff going on in the month of november my birthday we've had thanksgiving i've had weddings to do so we are here I'm here. Let's chat about all of the things. Um, let's just go ahead and talk about my lip products because I really like this lip combo and it's three things. Um, this is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Rich Cocoa, which is what I'm currently wearing on my lips right now. I really like this lip liner. I typically, it's a little bit lighter than what I typically go for but I really have been enjoying it with like this lip combo. I think it is so pretty. And then um, the liner is really smooth. It lasts a decent amount of time. Nothing too crazy there. And then the lipstick is the Sephora Be Proud lipstick. That's the shade Be Proud. I had to go in my Sephora order and figure out the name. Um, with this, it's like a nude, but it's got kind of like warm tone nude. If you get the gist like it's definitely like a warmer nude um so that's kind of like what it looks like and i like that it has like a glossy finish to it i haven't really been loving matte lips lately i just i don't know i just haven't i want my lips to look plump and juicy and then over top of this i have been using the road beauty peptide lip tint um, I ordered this a couple weeks ago and I have been using this stuff non-stop. I really want to pick up a couple more shades of this. This is so very nice. I like the viscosity of it. It, it's like, it gives you the shine of a lip gloss, but it also feels moisturizing to the lips. So I really have been mm, enjoying that one. Mine is in the shade Toast, by the way. Let's see if I can pick this up with my foot. There we go. But mine is in the shade Toast, and it's like, it has a little bit of tint to it, if you can tell from there, but it's not super, super pigmented. It has just the slightest amount. It looks pretty sheer, um, like, on the lips. Um, so, yeah, but this is the lip combo that I've been enjoying a lot, a lot, a lot. This bad boy has been in my purse the entire time i'm just gonna say that all right moving on to blush i have two to mention this one i like the formula is it my favorite shade no but it was limited edition so i wanted to go ahead and pick it up but this is the house labs blush um in the shade dragon fruit days i did get a few uses out of this this will probably be a shade that i use more so in the springtime but i do think it was really pretty i don't have it on today i don't know why i'm looking at my cheeks but <laughs> it is a really nice blush it's like one of those very cool barbie pinks and i won't use like a shade like that until like springtime but it's very soft it has a very velvety feel and texture to it so if you can get your hands on these blushes um definitely see if you can because they're limited edition my favorite shade is watermelon bliss love it it's just like a really bright red blush it is so so pretty the next blush that i tried is actually a new formula to me and this is the um yummy skin it's like in the yummy skin collection by denessa myricks and it's like the putty blushes if that makes sense it's not really that that's not the right term for it um but this is it this is in the shade jubilee did not think i was gonna like this shade because this shade does not look like much in the pan but on the face it is so pretty um it is so pretty it has a very balmy texture to it and then it kind of like mattifies a little bit there's still like a little bit of glow to it but it's not gonna be like if the patrick ta glowy blushes or anything like that this does kind of becomes more of a matte looking blush um 
if that makes sense. But I do want to check out some more of their shades. This is like a really nice everyday shade for me. I am going to love this in the summertime as well. This is a nice shade for fall. It's a nice everyday color as well. But in the summertime, I love like a burnt orange blush. I just make, I feel like it makes me look so tan and like rich and just chocolatey and I, mm, I love that so much. So, so far I've been enjoying everything that I've tried. I don't think there's really any, anything that I didn't like, to be honest with you. All right, moving on to a body care item. The Fenty, this, there's this Fenty trio that came out for the holidays and it's the, what are these called? The little butter drops. Um, they're the mini version of the whipped body oils. I got the trio because I wanted to know what these were like. So you get all three of these. This one's in my bathroom, but I have the this is the cinnamon one. Oh my gosh, this one smells amazing. I'm almost out of it, as you can see. I have been using this to shreds. It smells so good and it's really, really hydrating. The one that I like the least is actually the purple one. I don't love the scent of this. If I could just get these two, that would be amazing. And then this one is vanilla. And all of these, well, these two, like the holiday edition ones they have shimmer in them so this one is vanilla i haven't used this one Ooh, i have used this one more um i thought i had more than that in here i might pick up another one of these trios the only thing is i don't want the purple one so if i get another set of these trios then i will give the purple one to my sister but <clears throat> it, the purple one's good it's just not my favorite scent um it just smells like her other fenty body care items like from her normal collection but yes, this is the vanilla one. It smells so good, but I really love this one, especially for winter time. Like I feel like you smell like cinnamon toast crunch in all the best ways possible. My boyfriend loves the scent of this. They do have a full size of this one, so I do think I'm gonna go ahead and order that one. I'm really, really hoping that someone gets the full size of this for me for Christmas um, because I put it on my Christmas list and these are amazing. I've ranted and I've raved long enough. Let me just toss those in there. Oh, these are so good. I I understand the hype. I never knew. I never knew, but I get it now. I get it now. All right, I want to talk about a setting spray because I feel like I never talk about setting spray, setting spray because I feel like setting spray never really does the job for me. But this one here is top tier. This is the Scandinavia setting spray. This is the makeup finishing spray. They have the bridal setting spray. They have like a bunch of different ones. Um, but I have the makeup fin finishing spray and this stuff really does keep my makeup on a lot longer. I use the bridal setting spray in my makeup kit um, and I really like it. It has like kind of like a minty feel to it, which I think whatever that product is i feel like that's the product that keeps your makeup on longer because if you've ever tried the ben nye um uh their makeup setting spray it's also very minty kind of like that as well so whatever is in there i feel like there's something similar in here don't know that for a fact don't take that as bible but it's very like the kind of like the cooling feel of it reminds me a lot of that so and that's like a very tried and true makeup setting spray as well but yes I've been enjoying this one and I use this every single time that I do my makeup and I I have like a max a mac fix plus and I I only use that every blue moon um I use that more before my makeup than do afterwards or to just like meld in powders but this stuff actually keeps my makeup on longer so check it out and I do believe they have mini sizes too or maybe if you order you get like mini sizes I don't know they have miniature sizes that I ended up getting but I think they were because I ordered like two sprays besides the point let me keep moving on because I could ramble and chatter for hours on end because I have not gone to work yet and uh, you know I have all the energy in the world so I have two like skincare products to mention this first one is the naturium multi-peptide moisturizer i don't even know if i'm saying that name right but this stuff is so good i just started using this at the beginning of the month and i love it so much you get 1.7 ounces of this 
And I didn't really know much about the brand, but one of the um, makeup artists that I like to watch here on YouTube, her name is Nikki LaRose, I think is her last name. Um, she mentioned this brand in like her skin prep for makeup for different textures of skin and things of that nature. And I'm pretty sure she recommended this one here. But this is just, this one has peptides in it, vitamin C. Um, it's supposed to target the look of fine lines and wrinkles for a more youthful looking complexion. I like this under makeup and I like it by itself. I feel like it doesn't disturb anything. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel too thick, which is why I really like this because I didn't use moisturizer under makeup for the longest time because of that reason. I would always use like a gel moisturizer. This one's actually a cream. Um, like it's a like it's a lotion-y product um so yeah and it just look how glowy and youthful like it makes the skin look so I've been enjoying this a lot this is my first product that I've ever tried from the brand so I'm excited to try more of their products because I've been trying to get into my skincare as I have gotten a year older <laughs> Moving on, the next product for skincare things, I picked this up on a whim actually. Picked this up on a whim. This is the Ennis Free Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. No white cast. Sorry, just throwing stuff around. This is so good. Um, and it's SPF 36, by the way. But what got me was it was no white cast. It was no white cast. This doesn't feel gross on the skin. It feels very thin. Um, I wear this under makeup every single day and that is the best part. It doesn't peel or anything like that. Like I'm wearing a different foundation. It didn't peel under there like and I go straight over this sunscreen with my products. Like I don't put a primer or anything like that. I just use these two in combination with each other. I put this on first and I put this on and then I go in with the rest of my face and I feel like it works really nicely. I don't know. I like the glow that I get with both of these products together. I really love that it's no white cast. Um, so yeah, love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right, moving on to let's do oh I have one product to mention and this is the Danessa Myricks yummy skin tint this stuff is nice I can see myself using this a lot in the summertime as well um mine is in the shade 13 I have fuzz on this like there's fuzz my bed is fuzzy like I have a fuzzy cover anyway this I do like this I've been using this as a base most of the month i just started trying out another foundation um so i haven't been wearing this the last couple days but this is really nice it's very thin which i like i like when a skin tint is thin i don't like things that are super thick like the auric um or like the flawless filter even the elf one is a little thick um so yeah all right let's get into eyeshadow palettes I have three to mention well two to talk about one's like a third mention um because I'm still testing it out playing with it but these this one is the haunted palette from gourmand girls um I tried this out in the month of October actually like around spooky season and it's so pretty the shimmers are really gorgeous and the formula is really nice on this one um so if you ever want to check out their palettes I recommend them I don't really have too terribly much to say. I have a video up on my channel using all of these things that I mentioned. Um, and then the Bella Beauty Bar. I'm gonna say Beauty Bar, not Beauty Bar. Anyway, whatever. The, rec the recently de-influenced palette. I actually have one of their newest palettes coming in the mail today. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm gonna try to play with that one tomorrow and film a look using it. Um, but this one of the prettiest palettes the colors in here are so gorgeous like these are so pretty they're just so shifty they're so holographic they're truly unlike any formula that i've tried and i've tried a lot of eyeshadow but this this formula here is probably one of the best formulas that i've tried so i just wanted to mention those as well because i think they're definitely a good one to check out if you're looking for something a little bit different more on the indie side not so mainstream 
you know, brands, whatever you want to call it. So I think those two are both really great brands to check out. This one I'm going to mention and I'm going to talk about it a bit because I feel like I don't know if I'll get around to it in December, although I'm still trying it out. This is the Hey Reindeer palette by Odin's Eye. I did a look on my channel the other day using this one and then today's eye look is from this palette as well. Let me go through my thoughts and opinions. I think that like the shades don't swatch that great to be honest. Let me let me try to swatch these. <clears throat> like this is what the swatch is. Oh, I don't even have anything on that finger. This is what the swatches are like. Not that great. Um, I feel like they're missing pigment in the lighter pastel shades. Um, I've used the red, that's fine. I've used this color, that's fine. I've used this color, that's fine. These shimmers are okay. This one doesn't pick up that great. Um, it's kind of chunky, but it it just kind of like falls off so you pick up a decent amount of product but it doesn't adhere that well and they're very thin um so yeah the brown is fine i wish there was a different color besides brown in here the shimmers were nice the orange i've never tried before i feel like the orange is gonna be fine like it's okay the orange is all right um, I think these shimmers, I like that this is a textured shimmer, like look at that, that's gonna be pretty, that's gonna be gorgeous, like this is what all the shades need to be like, pigment wise. Um, I feel like this color would be fine, this color would be fine. I like the more textured shimmers in here, they definitely work a lot better. You kind of have to like use a brush, um, with some texture to it to like flake up the product out of the pan to get it to adhere to the eye. Um, my eyes watering sorry um but yeah so i think it's a cute palette do i think it is a great palette no um i have only tried one other palette from them i heard that the other christmas collection the two that they re-released are better than this one is but yeah so this is kind of like the only one that i'm like mm, meh you can do without um, but I think the color story is pretty. Is it the most cohesive color story? No. Do I think it's still cute and wintry? Yes. I like both of the looks that I came up with, but yeah, those are just kind of like my gripes. But anyway, I think that is all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a long one. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.